Hi everyone and welcome back to another drawing video. Okay so this one's going to be a seascape and a breaking wave in the foreground. I'm using A4 paper for this one. It's my usual Dale Rowney smooth heavyweight cartridge paper. And I'm just applying several layers of graphite powder just to get the ball rolling. Um, just to give me an underdrawing, a few basic tones there, something to work to. Now this is only going to be a brief overview of the drawing. Um, in a quick 10 minute video. Obviously the drawing took a lot longer than 10 minutes um, but the full lesson will be over on my Patreon channel and there will be 9 other videos to accompany this one guiding you through the whole process showing you all the techniques basically showing you everything you need to know um, to do this drawing. So if you're interested um, in having a go at this one just pop over to my Patreon page and have a look there see if it's for you um, it's only $4 a month and you get access to hundreds and hundreds of videos over there. Not just graphite projects, there's watercolours, drawing tips, techniques, a few mixed media projects, all sorts of things over there um, to interest you. And I'll leave links to Patreon um, in the description below and on the end screen as well. Now one of the things I get asked a lot um, is do I use fixatives? Do I recommend um, any certain brands over others? Is it safe to use fixatives over graphite drawing? Well, the answer is yes, I do use a fixative. Um, but I only use it in certain situations, and the one I use is one called Spectrafix. I'll put a picture of it up now on the screen so you can see what it looks like. Basically, it's very safe. Um, it's a pump-action spray, it's not an aerosol. And it's a water-based fixative. And I can spray this in my house without it making me ill. I can hardly smell anything when I spray it. It's very safe to use. You know, so if you've got pets or young children around or anything like that, you shouldn't have any problem using this. Um, and most, you can't say that for most of the others on the market. A lot of them, you know, the aerosol sprays, full of nasty chemicals, you pretty much have to spray them outside um, or in a very well ventilated room where there's no pets around or anything like that. I've been using Spectrafix now for over four years and I've tried lots and lots of different brands and Spectrafix is the one um, that I've stuck with. It's a really good fixative, it does actually work really well and it's what's called a workable fixative as well. So that basically means you can apply a layer of graphite or pastel, um, it's not just a, a graphite spray this one, you can use it for pastel and other mediums as well. Um, but it's like I say a workable fixative so you can apply a layer of graphite or pastel spray it and fix it let it dry and then you can rework over the top of that again and you can just keep repeating that process as well and then when you finish the drawing or the pastel painting or whatever you're doing you can then use it as a final fixative and apply just two light coats on the top and that will seal everything in and fix it nicely for you um, a lot of the other fixatives out there, um, I think there's a few exceptions, I think there's one by Krylon um, which we can't get over here in the UK or maybe you can now and last time I checked um, I couldn't find any but that's a workable fixative but most of them um, that are available in the UK are what, what's called final fixatives which means you can't apply them in between layers and work on top of them, basically they're just a final layer, a final coat for the finished drawing and that's it. So that's another reason why fixative, um, sorry, Spectrafix fixative is a really good option because you can use it both as a workable fixative and as a final fixative. And also I haven't noticed any um, colour shifts or alterations in tones or anything like that um, when I spray it on my drawings. Um, a lot of the aerosol based ones you do notice that you know your drawings can go darker um, and if you're using pastels, the, the same can happen there. You can get colour shifts and things like that. Uh, whereas Spectrafix, in that respect, is perfect. You know, it doesn't alter your drawing at all. You can actually buy additional um, diffusers, spray diffusers for it, which give a finer mist. Um, I've used them, but I find, well, they're very good. Um, they, they work definitely work better than the pump action spray on the bottle itself, um, all you do is just unscrew the top, tip them into one of these spray diffusers and lightly spray it over your drawing and it gives a finer mist and a more even finish. 
um, but I found that they actually start to block up after a while and so I've gone back to just using it straight from the original bottle with the original spray nozzle on there, the pump action one. Um, I just sort of kind of hold it about a foot away from my drawing and I just give two light coats of it as a final fixative. Sometimes it does throw out a few little blobs um, which kind of land on the drawing and it can panic you because <laughs> they look dark, you know, it looks like it's going to ruin your drawing but as soon as it dries you don't see anything, it just dries completely invisible. Um, so it's a really good fixative to use and it's the only one that I recommend and like I say I've been using it for over four years and um, I've not had any problems with it whatsoever. And I only tend to use it um, when I've been using graphite powder. I never really find it necessary just to fix graphite you know, from a pencil. Um, you can if you want to, I know artists that do. I choose not to. There are risks involved with using um, fixatives, particularly if you're using very lightweight paper. You know, the paper can buckle and cockle and you know, initially you've ruined your drawing if, if the buckling is too bad on there. Um, so I always recommend using a heavyweight paper if you're going to use a fixative anyway. And if you're planning on framing the drawing or the drawing going straight into a frame as soon as you've finished it, um, there's no real need to use fixative anyway because it's, it's protected behind the glass so it's not going to smudge or get damaged so no need to fix it if you're framing it. Um, but with that said, when I use graphite powder I will always use fixative whether it's going in a frame or not. Um, you know the graphite powder is very similar to um, pastel in the way that it can just kind of fall off the paper a little bit you know over time. Probably not as bad as pastel um, but it, it's still you know a dry powder that's applied on the paper and really it does need fixing um, you know for longevity you know if you want to keep the drawing looking nice. I'll leave some product links for it in the description below um, so you can go and check it out and read up more about it um, if you want to. So yeah, Spectrafix workable fixative is the only one I'd use, the only one I'd recommend. Um, it's quite expensive, you know, it's not cheap, but then again you get what you pay for and this really is a quality product that, that really does work well. And like I say, I wouldn't risk anything else on my drawings. I've had some real disasters over the years using, um, well I'm not going to name names, but let's just say other manufacturers um, spray fixatives. And I actually find that some of them don't even work. You know, that you can spray them over your drawing and it sends your drawing dark or if you spray it on a pastel painting you start getting colour shifts and things like that. And you rub your finger over it to see if it's fixed it and it's not even fixed it. And you know, your house is smelling <laughs> toxic, you know, with all the chemicals from this stuff. Um, and you think, what's the point in using it? You know, a lot of them really don't work very well at all. Um, you know, I really wouldn't advise spraying any of them in your house. You know, there's a lot of nasty chemicals um, in some of these fixatives. So, I'd play safe. Use, use, you know, Spectrafix. Pay the extra pound or two, um, you know, to get something that does actually work and is actually safe. And like I said earlier, I'll leave links in the description below, uh, product links uh, for Spectrafix for you, so you can go and check it out. OK, I guess we better talk a little bit about the drawing then. <laughs> um, as you can see, you know, I'm using a print-off um, there of the reference photo and I'm holding it really close to the drawing. I found that that really helped me to kind of work out, you know, how that wave was formed, get all the little highlights in the right place, all the water splashes and everything. It's quite a complicated, complex area there. Um, so to actually have the reference photo as near as you possibly can um, to the drawing itself just makes it very easy to observe and it just seems to be a whole lot easier you know to translate what you're drawing from the the reference photo there but like I say there'll be nine other videos to accompany this um, over on my patreon channel um, you know with full instructions on how to do this um, you know over there quick YouTube video for 10 minutes there's not enough time to give any proper instructions really on anything like this um, so I'll leave links in the end screen to patreon and in the description below as well and I'll also leave product links in the description below uh, for you to take a look at as well okay so we're just about at the end of the drawing now um, a 
can't remember exactly how many hours this took me to do. I think it was about 20, something like that. Um, but you know me, I work very slow anyway. <laughs> okay, so there's the finished drawing. I hope you like that. Thanks very much for uh, listening and watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.